Drake has got to be the most feminine, the most sensitive, and the pittest rapper alive. And I say all this not to attack his character, by all means, you do you. However, we have seen the evolution of Drake over the past decade, and it is clear that this man doesn't play around with his feelings, and is clearly dying for respect. 2023 has shown Drake with a lot of fans alike questioning his character, leading us to think, is Drake going through a midlife crisis? With his new album dropping for the dogs, Drake has still been taking several subliminal shots at past lovers, getting triggered and beefing over the internet with Joe Budden, and not to mention Drake's new sus image. Oh my god. So yeah, in today's video, we're gonna get to it all. So is Drake having a midlife crisis? Well, no, it's more like he's having I need to stay relevant in the identity crisis. Let's be honest, Drake has never been the most hardcore rapper, and this has always been a talk that Drake has been overly light skinned or a little bit sus. Favorite artist to work with and why? Oh, I uh, I have to say, I can't say one person. I gotta say, one. yeah, I gotta say, I gotta say there's three people that I have to say. Um, and uh, uh, Wayne is my favorite person to work with though, because it's just, ooh, ooh, little Wayne, he's just too oh, he's oh, oh, He needs oh. some milk. But as of 2023, he seems like he's taking it to the next level with some questionable poses and hairstyles, going as far to paint his nails and questionable lyrics. And yeah, you can say this is probably because he's been hanging around Lil Yachty too much. Yo, Carlos Klein. Embarrassing. Uh, yeah, but I think this is also because we're in a sassy man era, which Drake is being controlled to promote. It seems like every day I'm hearing more sus things about rappers, and this only brings more attention for the media blogs to talk about. With the ABC Club being a topic more and more people are talking about in 2023, it ain't a surprise when you see your favorite rapper move with this agenda. And what I mean by the agenda is that everything Drake has done up until now in his career has been strategic. Even from the time he's transitioned from childhood actor to Stay away from my girl. What are you talking about? Ash and I are a thing again? Really? Yeah, really. Guess I'll have to ask her that when I take her out on Friday. Oh my god. GTO pickle cheese in that boy. Take it easy. To wanna be hardcore rapper and RB icon and being signed by Cash Money, it's all strategic. And that's exactly what Drake has been doing with this new Zesty movement. You don't get it yet, do you? The strategy has worked for a long time, and that's the reason why Drake is as successful as he is today, because he's been strategically positioned to portray different personas. I can go deep into this topic in a later video, but I just want to say this. It seems like there's been a rise of almost such your activities in the music industry, especially now with the black men in rap. Oh Every day we're hearing about a new social yeah, rapper, and this is only man, telling you that there's a agenda being pushed onto young adults. There's a plan put in place to emasculate young men, especially young black men, and profit from this. Because where there's attention, there's power. And when there's power, there's control. And it seems like a lot of rappers are doing this nowadays, training their own morals in order to achieve a high position in the music industry. In fact, this has always been done for a long time, whether it's promoting violence in their music videos or promoting a certain image. But just to clarify, I'm not saying Drake is gay or anything, or I'm saying anything's wrong with it, but he's fully aware of what he's doing. And if he can find a part of his persona, he's going to run with it. He's going to do whatever it takes to make more M's. Even DJ Academics chimes in to talk about what Drake is doing. This shit is kind of confusing me. And I think Drake has probably come to the conclusion that the only way he could get to the next level, he has to lean into this gay shit. I'm going to be honest with you. That, that's my personal opinion. But like, like, I'm being honest with you. I think the old Drake has thought the only way I could get any bigger than I am now, I got to lean into this gay shit. And it all makes sense. Drake is pushing all this imagery and talk and lyrics onto a young demographic because that's where the money is. He's going to do this in order to get more money and get to a higher position. Drake may not even want to do this. Let's not forget, he doesn't even write all these bars. But because of his influence, he's been selected and placed to target the young audience. He may be the biggest artist, but there are people high up that are telling him what to do and say. So don't be surprised when you see Drake doing some strange acts. Do some strange for a little piece of change. And Drake has already received a backlash from resonating with the younger audience on his new album for the dogs with media stars like Joe Budden chiming in and giving his opinion on the album which has triggered the petty and sensitive side of Aubrey. With consistently dropping a new project year after year, Drake's album has sort of been a thing where you have to build anticipation for. As a Drake listener, I guess we're always looking to see what Drake is going to do next. Like will this new album be a classic? As mentioned before, Drake has been positioned over the years to play different personas. Let's not forget, he's an actor first and foremost. We have seen Heartbreak Drake, Misogynistic Drake, Loverboy Drake, Studio Gangster Drake, UK Drill Drake, and Jamaican Drake. Trust me, daddy. 
Despite the success, Drake has always had an issue of gaining acceptance from the hip hop community. What and this is because Drake has always been seen me? as the corny guy or the rapper that always forces every personality. However, I don't think having different personas is the problem because many rappers do this just to show a versatile side to them. Hip hop over the years has finally accepted Drake because at this point, you cannot deny his success whether you love or hate him. However, now with the new album, he seems to be a broken record. Drake is still talking about past situations with Rihanna with lyrics like nice to listen but bro you're almost 40 you need to get over it why are you still taking petty shots move on not only this but drake is the biggest rapper of our generation the numbers don't lie he's supposed to be the jay-z of our generation don't get me wrong i still like the album it's relatable in some ways i just think a lot of fans had a lot of expectations for the album like already we've seen a lot of people being quick to call the album mid because of the lack of depth or the new drake persona we was looking for and this is the reason the drama between joe budden and drake started joe budden goes on to say this 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 is like yachty rapping this is like he rapping for the children and that's my yo dog i had to look up how old this was when i finished listening to the album mm -hmm. you are 36 your birthday is in 20 days i googled that too you are 37 <laughs> years old get the f away from some of these younger n and to be honest drake's reaction to this was quite hilarious like but at the same time people are saying he was a bit over the top basically saying joe budden is a failure at music and his opinion doesn't mean shit. <laughs> and this is kind of what i mean by drake is slightly a bit feminine petty like your response was overly dramatic i don't think you needed to say all of this especially in a big ass paragraph like he did i don't know my guess is drake was just off that henny and he just needed to vent i can understand where joe's coming from but come on now like you're drake you you know you're always gonna have some critiques and um, people are gonna say something bad about your album or your music it's just inevitable like your audience is way too big people are always gonna latch onto the nostalgia of drake but at the same time people want the new drake with some new depth but at the same time he's gotta make music for the new generation there's a reason why he's got a song with Yee and sexy red and there's a reason why he mentions kai Sinat in one of his songs drake is doing it for the new generation because that's where the money is at drake ain't trying to be the new jay-z He's trying to be Drake, the goofball, successful rapper. But like I said, the album's not bad at all. Like, he knows he's got to make music for the new generation, but he also knows that old fans still want the old Drake. So that's why I feel like he's put songs like 8AM in Charlotte and Tried Our Best. Personally, I just think this is Drake's attempt to stay number one whilst trying to please everyone. So when he receives backlash that the album wasn't good enough, Drake gets emotional. That's just how Drake is. He's been like that and he always will be. Anyways, that's all from me. I would love to hear your opinions about the topics. So drop your comments down below in the comment section. If you stay to the end, you're a real one. So please like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next video.